Hey guys, uh, I got the uh, HD Cell 500 helicopter here. Um, this is a 470 to 500 millimeter helicopter um, by a new company called HD Helicopter. Um, check out their website, hdhelicopter.com. Uh, and the HD Cell 500 is also posted uh, on the Heli Direct website. Um, I think you can pre order it now, and I believe it's shipping around November 22nd, so uh, it's coming out really soon here. Uh, note this is a uh, early prototype. It came out around uh, Urcha time, um, and you can actually check out the manual, which uh, I think was posted very recently uh, on the HD Helicopter website uh, to see some of the final details. Um, really, the I think the design philosophy here is uh, minimalist and uh, trying to get something that's silent and very lightweight, uh, and I think they've managed to really achieve both those goals. Um, it's a, an incredible work of art in terms of aluminum and carbon fiber. Um, at the core of the helicopter, you have this uh, cell uh, the cell is this piece of aluminum, I believe that one of the designers said uh, they used a five-axis CNC machine for. Uh, it's really, it's beautiful. To this cell, you have the uh, three cyclic servos mounted. Um, you have two bearing blocks, and then this thing actually has three bearing blocks. Uh, there's a third down here as well. You have the motor, uh, mounts to a motor plate. The motor plate can actually move backwards and forwards um, to adjust this belt tension here. Um, the uh, main pulley is an amazing piece of art. I mean, look at this. This is a, a, an extra one that I have here. Um, it's a, a all aluminum, um, just incredible. And then uh, flanges mount on here, both sides for the uh, for the belt to ride on to the uh, motor. Uh, and then you have your auto rotation drive gear, uh, gear, which is also another aluminum pulley. And then your belt back to your tail. Another really cool feature is that there's a, um, I've never seen this before. I don't know if it exists anywhere. Um, is this belt tensioning system. Basically, um, you have a couple pulleys inside here and you loosen a couple of grub screws and this slides back and forth and this allows you to tension the belt. Um, you don't have to mess with pulling the boom back and forth or uh, adjusting the um, tail box back and forth. So, a uh, really cool design. Um, the head is a traditional swash-driven uh, swash head. Um, you see here, no, no DFC or anything like that. Um, I know that they have a, um, they had an option they show they showed it Urcha for a DFC style, but I don't I don't know if that's being offered anymore. Um, and then uh, for the anti -roto anti rotation lock, um, there's a I believe it's like a Delrin tube here that locks into the um, uh, cell here uh, and works really well. And then it connects up to your elevator servo. Um, you mount your ESC up front here uh, on another aluminum plate that uh, mounts up to the cell. Uh, and then underneath here you have another um, battery tray that the battery attaches up to and then you can just basically loosen these straps and then slide the battery forwards and backwards um, to get the CG where you want it. Um, right now I have a, a Pulse 4500 uh, on here which is a, a nice size if you're going to run the 500 millimeter blades. I would go smaller to like 3700 uh, if you're going to run something like the 475 blades. Um, really up to you. The tail servo is located uh, inside the frames. You see here, um, I believe they're going to have an option for a mini servo, but the, the standard mount is for a full size tail servo. Um, and uh, I actually have the, the BK uh, mini servo in here um, with a, uh, uh, like a mounting option to make it a full size uh, mount. But uh, and this servo, by the way, works amazing on this model. Really, it's, it's really a full size servo in a mini uh, case. You can see the, the motor bulging out. Uh, and the cyclic is the same style. Um, and so, uh, the fly barless system mounts back on the rear deck and then makes the wiring real easy to the cyclic servos back here, back to the tail servo, and then you need to run one wire back up the front for the ESC, and then you got the back here. Um, I just put on a, a Western Robotics back here, which fit nicely. Um, good option um, for that. Um, the frame is actually a uh, two-piece, so there's this inner frame here that hooks up to the, uh, the cell and, and the boom back here. And then there's a secondary frame that comes out here, um, come down to the uh, uh, um, skid. And there's a CF plate here for the skid. Uh, and then it's kind of a, a hybrid design. You have the CF plate, and then you actually have the, uh, the tubes down here. Um, it's a really cool looking design. I haven't seen anything like that before. Uh, let's see what else. Um, on the head, uh, really beautiful head block here. Um, the, this model actually has three millimeter bolt holes, but uh, the final, I believe, has four. And then they have some spacers, so if you're using like the 465 millimeter blades, um, those are actually three millimeter, so you put in the spacers to run those blades. Otherwise, um, I think you're seeing typically four millimeter on the 500 millimeter blades. 
And so I believe standard, you can just pop in the 500 millimeter and you don't have to change anything. Works great. Um, right now I've got a Quantum uh, 4120 1100 in here. Um, the, the final version of this motor actually is quite a bit lower, uh, so it doesn't uh, interfere with the canopy or anything. Um, but uh, very, very powerful motor for this model. Um, this is really like a ballistic setup. Um, fantastic. I hope to get some uh, flight video of this, of this guy flying really soon. Um, and uh, I actually have this running with an icon now and it's flying fantastic with it. Uh, tail hold is, is really uh, fantastic. The, uh, the final version of the model, I believe, uh, has a uh, 4.8 uh, tail gear ratio, which is great. Very, I like higher ratios. That way you can run lower head speeds. And, and by the way, this is an incredibly quiet model. It's just like insane how quiet this is. Really, there's no gear mesh. So all you hear really is the motor, the blades. Um, super, super quiet. And it's very, very light. Um, so if you'd like um, to mix it up with low head speed, um, as well as high head speed, this model is fantastic for that because of the high tail gear ratio. Um, and, and it's silent, so it just has that really cool sound to it. Um, and I hope to get a, a flight video up soon so I can show that to you. Um, let's see, what else? I think that's about it. Um, really cool model. Uh, shoot me a, a, an email or PM if you have any questions about it. And I believe this guy is shipping on November 22nd, so you can get your hands on one soon. And definitely uh, go to hdhelicopter.com, grab the manual, uh, have a look at it. Uh, and I think that's uh, about it. Thanks.